In this clip, I will introduce you to the CPTAC Spark in study. And this study is very useful to get insight in data analysis for proteomics. Why is this data set so useful? In this data set, we know the ground truth. We know which proteins are differentially expressed, and we also know which proteins are not differentially expressed. How were researchers able to construct such a clean data set? They started from yeast cells. They have lysed all the cells and they have harvested the proteins. They then have digested them into peptides. And every sample in this experiment will contain the same yeast background. So all the yeast proteins are not differentially expressed. On top of that, they also added UPS proteins and UPS is a mix of 48 human proteins. They also have digested them and they have added them at five different concentrations. Concentrations ranging from A to E, from low to high. From each of these mixes, they then took three replicates and they have sent them to a lab. And they did that three times. So every lab has three technical replicates for each concentration. So we have 45 different samples in total. This data is publicly available and we have analyzed the data with MaxQuant, which allows you to do the quantification and the identification uh, of peptides. We have used the match between runs op option in order to reduce the missingness. And what does this option? If you have a peptide that is identified in one, uh, file, uh, one sample or in a couple of samples and not in the others, you will try to look into the spectra at the same retention time to find, see if you have a similar peak in that um, spectra where you did not have done the identification. And if we find a peak at the same position, we can match the peak between runs and we can also use the identification of other samples to quantify this peptide in the sample where we have not identified it. Even with the match between runs option, we have a vast amount of missingness. We only have 41 proteins, 41% 41 of all the proteins that were quantified in all the samples. And at the peptide level, it's even worse. We only have 6.6% of all peptides that were found in all samples. So even in a very well-defined and clean data set, we have a vast amount of missingness. The output that we will use and that we will show here in this uh, in these uh, sessions and that we will also use in the tutorials are output from MaxQuant. MaxQuant gives you back a huge number of files and the file that we will use in the tutorials are the peptide.txt files that contain information on peptide intensities. They contain the peptides in the rows and they contain information for the different samples in the columns. And they also have additional information on the identification of these uh, peptides. So that is the file that we will use to analyze the data. Now that we know where the data originates from, we are ready to see why we need pre-processing and what pre-processing can bring us. And this is what we will do in the next clips.